in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. What does the Lord require of you but to do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly with our God? We meet in the presence of God. We commit ourselves to work in penitence and faith for reconciliation between the nations that all people may together live in freedom, justice, and peace. We pray for all who in bereavement, disability, and pain continue to suffer the consequences of fighting and terror. We remember with thanksgiving and sorrow those whose lives in world wars and conflicts, past and present, have been given and taken away. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. <laughs>
When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow, we gave our today. Hear these words from the Gospel of John. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments, and abide in his love. I have said these things to you, so that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my father. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the Father will give you whatever you ask him in my name. I am giving you these commands so that you may love one another. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Remembrance Sunday is an important event in our churches, in our communities, because it helps us to not to forget why we have the freedom that we enjoy today. It reminds us of the peace we have experienced here in Britain was not brought cheaply. Remembrance Sunday is more than a reminder of those who died in the First and Second World Wars. It is also a reminder of those who have lost their lives in other conflicts like Falkland War, the Gulf War, Iraq, Afghanistan and many other conflicts. We have paused for two minutes. This is a call to remember those who laid their lives for our freedom. Whatever the rights and wrongs of wars, so many have died, so many have laid down their lives for us. We owe them our respect, our thanks. We have an obligation to remember. We must never forget. Remember the words Jesus heard on the cross, Remember me, when you come into your kingdom, words spoken by a guilty, broken, and publicly humiliated man as he paid for his crimes through a painful and inhuman execution. Just a few hours before this, Jesus had shared a meal with his friends and said to them, this do in remembrance of me. The anguish and pain of the two statements is unavoidable. Jesus, an innocent man, asked the guilty to remember him. The thief, a guilty man, asked the truly innocent man to remember him. John chapter 15 verses 9 to 11 tells us what Jesus said to his disciples. Even as the Father has loved me, I also have loved you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have spoken these things to you that my love may remain in you and your joy may be made fulfilled. The Gospel of John from the beginning has emphasized the unity of Father and Son. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, 
and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him. Without him was nothing made that has been made. Jesus has already said in the Gospel of John chapter 10 verse 30, I and the Father are one. Abide in me. Abide in my love. The words of Jesus Christ in John chapter 9 and 10 contains a command and a promise. In verse 9 and 10, we are commanded to abide in him, to abide in Jesus. The promise in these verses is, if you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love. The first step to understand both the command and the promise is to understand the meaning of the key words of abide and love. Just as the Father has loved me, I have also loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. The Greek word for abide is meno. It occurs two times in these two verses. The word meno means to remain or to stay. It is the simple idea of remaining in a place. The Greek word for love in both verses is agape. Both verses refers this wonderful deep word that reflects God's love. This love is selfless. Agape does not refer to friendship love, brothers and sisters love, a parental love, an emotional love, or sexual love. Therefore, Jesus commands believers to remain in him and in his agape love. Remembrance Sunday is set aside to remember those who have given their lives for the freedom of others. What and why do we need to remember? We remember the reality of what actually happened. We remember the dedication of those who fought and died. Remembering should still within us a sense of gratitude, appreciation and thankfulness. Remembering the commitment and sacrifice of those should also strengthen our own resolve to do our part in serving God and others. A few years ago, I was privileged to visit the churchyard of St. Nicholas at Brokenhurst. One of the in most the moving of those memorials in the churchyard was of Sukha, who was a sweeper and untouchable from a village in Uttar Pradesh, India. He had served as a cleaner in the army camps in France and in the Lady Harding Hospital in Brokenhurst. There he became ill with pneumonia and he died in January 1950. Because he was a low caste, he could not be cremated as a Hindu because high caste Hindu and Sikh would not take part in any ritual for him. And he could not be buried among Muslims because he was not a Muslim. The vicar of St. Nicholas Brokenhurst said, that Sukha had died for us and should be buried at Brokenhurst. The inscription on his tomb reads, The stone was erected by the parishioners of Brokenhurst to mark the spot where is laid the earthly body of Sukha, a resident of Gangapur, city bravely in Uttar Pradesh, India. He left country, home and friends, to serve our king and empire in the great European war as a humble servant in the Lady Harding Hospital for wounded soldiers in this parish. He departed this life on January 12, 1915 at the age of 30. By creed, he was not a Christian, but his earthly life was sacrificed in the interest of others. There is one God and the Father of all and through all in all.
dear brothers and sisters we all want to make this world a happy place our villages our towns and the places where we live we are so fortunate that in our little town in krikhamal we have a loving and caring community in this most difficult and unprecedented times our shopkeepers our local businesses our school our churches and our communities they all are looking after one another remembrance sunday reminds us that we need jesus remembrance sunday reminds us we need to love one another remembrance sunday reminds us we need to obey god why we need to abide in christ why we need to keep our relationship with christ why we need to obey christ we need a world where everyone is loved cared and supported we need let us pray for this world which desperately need love love that can transform love that can change and true love only we can learn in christ and through christ in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit Let us pray for all who suffer as a result of conflict and ask that God may give us peace. For the service men and women who have died in the violence of war, each one remembered by and known to God. May God give peace. God, God give peace. peace. For those who love them in death as in life offering the distress of our grief and the sadness of our loss may god give peace god give peace for all members of the armed forces who are in danger this day remembering family friends and all who pray for their safe return may god give peace God give peace. For civilian women, children and men whose lives are disfigured by war or terror, calling to mind in penitence the anger and hatreds of humanity. May God give peace. God give peace. For peacemakers and peacekeepers, who seek to keep this world secure and free may god give peace god give peace for all who bear the burden and privilege of leadership political military and religious asking for gifts of wisdom and resolve in the search for reconciliation and peace may god give peace god give peace o god of truth and justice we hold before you those whose memories we cherish and those whose names we will never know help us to lift our eyes above the torment of this broken world and grant us the grace to pray for those who wish to harm us as we honor the past may we put our faith in your future for you are the source of life and hope now and forever amen, amen. let us say lord's prayer together our father who art Lord, in heaven amen. hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses 
as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen Krakowl, Godfrey Beavis, Edwin Blacker, Valentine Davis, E. Dunn, Daniel Evans, Walter Goff, John Herbert, Philip Hill, David Johns, Walter Jones, David Joseph, Albert Leonard, Gilbert Lewis, Edwin Morgan, Fothergill Morgan, William Morgan, Charles Parsons, Horace Parsons, Sidney Powell, John Price, Reginald Price, Philip Prosser, Roger Pugh, Ronald Robertson, Charles Rumsey, Douglas Rumsey, John Rumsey, W. L. Thomas, James Woodman, DSO. Cum D. John Edwards, Edmund Fitton, Ivor Francis, Thomas Hadley, Cyril Powell, William Powell, J.S. Rumsey, Arthur Borgent, Ebenezer Watkins, Charles Williams, Clambetta, Henry Hawkins, Douglas Lewis, Clan Nelly Hill, Levi Coleman, David Davies, Henry Jones, John Lewis, William Watkins. David Whitby, Cliddock, John Jones, David Lewis, James Morgan, William Phillips, Thomas Powell, William Price, Gilwern. John Davis, Percy Drew, Albert Flowers, Walter Isaac, George Jones, Gurnos Jones, James Jones, Richard Lloyd, Albert Mark Makin, Trevor Nash, Gordon Pickering, James Sutherland, Arthur Thomas, Albert White. Shangatuk, the Honourable Bernard Bailey, the Honourable Gerald Bailey, the Honourable John Bailey, John Body, G. Davis, Thomas Fishbourne, David Harris, Henry Harris, Frank Harrington, Gwilan James, J. James, Ernest Jones, Archie Bolt Pritchard, William Thomas, James Watkins, Joseph Williams, MM, Samuel Williams. Clangeny, Herbert Cochran, DSO, Albert Davies, Richard Mann, Orlingham Pocock. Charles Powell, Charles Saunders, William Smith, George Wilbund, Clangenada, William Bevan, John Davies, Alfred Farr, Albert Jenkins, William Jones Evans, William Lloyd, Alfred Lovat, William Powell, 
Frank Powell Jones, Percival Powell Jones, Thomas Richards, Henry Williams, Reginald Williams, Patricio, Thomas Bevan. Krakowell, William Cable, Leonard Clatworthy, John Morgan, Bertram, Bertram Shepperton, Lewis Stylart, John Webb, Sanganada, James Bohr, William Davis, Emlyn Hullo, Daniel Parry, Frederick Kite, John Sullivan, Shangatuk, Robin Atwater, David Cole Hamilton, DSC, Leslie Mann, Wilfred Stevens, Albert Wheeler, David Williams, Gilwern, David Rawlings, Victor Powell, Donald Lewis, Arthur Whiteley, Joseph Fear, James Sutherland, Shangeni, Owen Evans, Arthur Price, Alfred Knight. Clan Nelly Hill, Henry Hill, Dennis Williams, Jack Rogers, Cliddock, Mervyn Andrews, Arthur Thomas, William Thomas, Brinley Evans, Tree Tower, Gwyn Williams, Iraq 2003, David Reese Williams. Let us commit ourselves to responsible living and faithful service. Will you strive for all that makes for peace? We will. Will you seek to heal the wounds of war? We will. Will you make for a just future for all humanity? We will. Merciful God, we offer to you the fears in us that have not yet been cast out by love. May we accept the hope you have placed in our hearts for all people and live lives of justice, courage and mercy through Jesus Christ, our risen Redeemer. Amen. Amen.
God grant to the living grace, to the departed rest, to the church, the queen and all people, unity, peace and concord, and to us and all God's servants, life everlasting, and the blessings of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you.